Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Korean crime drama movie released in 2019, called, Taza, One-Eyed Jack. A young poker player is on a winning streak and joins a team led by the legendary poker player. While successfully working on a plan to win a huge jackpot, a single mistake puts the entire team in a life-or-death situation. Will they be able to hit the jackpot? Let's find out together. The movie starts with Do Il Chul, a young failing student who is addicted to gambling. Even though he rarely studies and fails his grades, Chul possesses great talent in gambling. He is even sometimes called Taza, which means professional gambler. One night, his mother comes to visit him in his apartment. The mother seems concerned with Chul's study and asks him to focus on his exam, to which he hesitantly agrees. The next day, even though he tries to focus, he couldn't help but sleep through the class and only think about gambling. One day, after gambling, Chul meets a pretty girl called Madonna, who seems to be down on her luck. Over their conversation, Madonna warns Chul to stop gambling and instead focus on studying as she feels that Chul has no talent for gambling. In response, Chul brags about his gambling talent and says that Madonna is too underestimating him. Suddenly, Madonna left the dinner after seeing a car pass outside. Chul tries to follow her and sees a man grab her arm and forcefully pull her to his car and leave. Chul's meeting with Madonna seems to leave an impression as he keeps on thinking and expecting to see Madonna again. The next day, when Chul is on his way home from gambling, he accidentally falls from his bicycle as he almost gets hit by a car. Inside that car, Chul sees Madonna looking at him. As the driver gets out and scolds Chul, it turns out he is one of the legendary Taza known as Margui the Demon. Then, as Margui and Chul argue, Madonna gets out of the car and leaves them. After that, Margui continues taunting Chul and underestimating him. Triggered by Margui's mockeries and acts, Chul goes after him. Then, he challenges Margui to a one-on-one -on -one poker game. Margui bets $10,000 for the damage on his car, while Chul also bet the same amount for his broken wheel. Moreover, Chul raises the stake by betting that he will take Madonna on a date if he wins. Margui accepts the deal, and then they start gambling with Madonna as the dealer. As the match goes on, Chul confidently bet all his chips, thinking that the game is in his favor. However, it turns out he is losing the game. After that, he recklessly takes out a loan to re-challenge Margui. However, the rematch goes on with Chul losing over and over again. Madonna tries to stop Chul, but he insists on keeping playing. But then, the game ends with Chul completely losing everything. Days later, Chul is repeatedly hit by debt collectors because he can't pay for his debt. When the debt collectors threaten to cut Chul's fingers, a mysterious long-haired man suddenly shows up. The man then says that he will pay for all of Chul's debt and introduce himself as one of the legendary Taza known as One-Eyed Jack. Now indebted to One-Eye, Chul promises to pay him back. Jack then tells Chul about his late friend, one of the legendary Taza known as One-Ear, who is Chul's father. Over the conversation, Jack tells him that he too was indebted to Chul's father, so Chul doesn't have to pay him back. As Chul is about to leave, Jack warns him that his match with Margui might be a trap set up by people he knows. Later that night, Chul goes back to his gambling place only to find that the site was already deserted, proving Jack's warning. Day after, Chul returns to see Jack and asks him to be his gambling mentor. However, Jack tells Chul to quit gambling before losing everything like the other gamblers. But Chul insists that he has talent and luck like his father. Jack, who previously refused Chul's request, then tells him to prove it. Afterwards, Chul proves his word by winning a game of roulette which then makes Jack smile. Seeing Chul's potential, Jack decides to invite him to his one-eyed crew as he plans to trick a successful businessman using poker games. Then, Jack proceeded to recruit each team member by hinting them with a Jack card. The next day, the team assembles at Jack's hideout. There, Chul meets with a con man and card dealer named Karchi, an experienced gambling trickster named Quan, and a pretty thief and professional deceiver called Youngmi. From then on, Jack and his team execute their plan to trick a man called Mool, a businessman who recently became a big shot. At first, Karchi and Youngmi will try to lure Mool with a game of poker. After they defeat Mool and mock his inability to gamble, Quan and Chul enter the stage as Taza employed by Mool to defeat Karchi and Youngmi. Then, they purposely make Mool win the game with the help of Chul and Quan, luring Mool deeper. The next part of the plan is to get Mool to gamble with more money. Karchi asks Mool to another poker game betting $5 million, to which Mool confidently agrees. 
As the game begins, the team tricks Mool into a trap by switching the cards making him recklessly bet all his chips. Then, Kachi and Youngmi manage to defeat Mool and take all the money without making him suspicious. Even after losing, Mool wants to continue playing and asks Chul and Quan to stay by his side. A while after, a car pulls up, and then a girl who turns out to be Madonna gets out of the vehicle. Meeting Madonna once again, Chul can't stop staring at her. Chul then asks Mool about his relationship with Madonna, and he answers that she's his business partner that he intends to trick. After that, Chul goes to Madonna's room to tell her to stop partnering with Mool as he and his team intended to swindle Mool's money. As Chul was swayed by Madonna's beauty, she then lured Chul to tell her more about the plan. However, after Chul accidentally tells Madonna about his team plan, she betrays Chul by telling Mool. When Chul wakes up, Mool and his men are already in Madonna's room, taking Chul hostage. In anger, Mool goes on a hunt for one-eyed team. His men then brutally hit Chul and successfully capture Karchi while Quan and Youngmi escape. When Chul is taken away by Mool, Jack shows up and saves him. The next day, Chul wakes up in a room with his remaining teammates. He asks for forgiveness because he unintentionally betrays the team by telling Madonna. Jack then tells a story about Chul's father and explains that he was the one who betrayed One Ear, which led to his death in the hand of Margui the demon. He ends the story by saying that the traitor is unforgivable and tells Chul to live with traitor regret just like him. Chul then leaves the team, while Jack returns to Mool's place to save Karchi. Months later, Chul is still gambling somewhere. Suddenly, Karchi shows up then tells him that Jack is dead and Margui is the one who killed him when Jack goes back to save Karchi. Wanting to redeem his mistake and to take revenge for both Jack and his father, Chul returned to Mool's place to confront him and Margui, challenging them to a poker game. When Chul meets Margui, he raises the stake by betting his life in this game, stating that whoever loses will be dead. Margui happily accepts the challenge as he has easily defeated Jack and Chul before. At night before the match, Madonna goes to Chul's room and asks him to help her steal the money and leave. At first, Chul hesitantly agrees to Madonna's plan as she has betrayed him twice. However, Madonna says that Chul would not win the game because she, Mool, and Margui are on the same side. She then says that she doesn't want Margui to win the game because he used to mistreat her since she was a child. Chul asks Madonna how could he believe her, and she answered that if he could not believe her, then he should believe the money that she plans to steal. But then, as he invites Madonna to his room, turns out that Chul has allied himself with Mool, exposing Madonna's plan to betray Mool and Margui. With no choice, Madonna then submitted to Chul and Mool's plan to defeat Margui and took the money for themselves. The next day, the game goes on with their leg tied to a chain. The stake of this game is that whoever loses will be drowned using a chain connected to a barrel. Amidst the match, Chul asks Margui why he killed his father. Margui then answers that one ear used to stole from him and managed to hide the money. He then tells Chul that trapping him into massive debt in their game before is his plan to take revenge on Chul's father. As Chul and Margui argue, Madonna stealthily switches the card on the table in Chul's favor while Mool casually distracts Margui's attention. Then, Chul provokes Margui by betting all of his chips, leading Margui to do the same while Madonna and Mool purposely avoid. When the cards unfold, Margui laughs as he thinks he has defeated Chul again. However, the card Madonna previously switched ended up making Chul win instead. After losing the gamble, the chain on Margui's leg was pulled by a barrel, but he managed to grab the pool's edge. Madonna releases the chain on her leg and stops Margui from holding the pool's edge, drowning him. As she drowns him, she remembers her painful past with Margui. After that, she leaves the island as everyone looks at her in shock. After defeating Margui and taking both his and Madonna's money, Mool and one of his men drives Chul home. However, the car suddenly goes to a secluded place in the middle of the road. Mool then tells Chul to go away and leave his money if he wants to live, betraying their deal. But suddenly, Mool's driver pulls out a knife and betrays Mool. Turn out, the driver and Chul had made a deal to split the money for themselves then they dispose Mool's body to the nearby lake. They both then part ways with the money. Days later, Chul sent a bag of money and a jack card to all his former teammates to redeem his mistake. As he returns to his mother's home, he tells her mother that he passed the exam, making his mother happy. The mother then tells him a story about Chul's father and says that his father told her to give the money he saved before his death to their son. Chul then realizes that those money are the one his father stole from Margui. The movie ends with Chul, who's now living an ordinary life, working as a civil service servant. 
He tries his best to quit the gambling world before losing everything, just like Jack once told him to. The world of gambling is full of deception, trickery, and regret. People addicted to it will lose everything as their own greed swallows them. What would you do if you were in Chul's position? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you next time.